This is to replace the keypad on OP900. You need OP900 MS, SS, SL, but any of them should be fine and the video should help you out. If you notice your keypad, you can actually take a flathead screwdriver or razor blade. And you can actually put it underneath and actually start peeling off the keypad. So you'll see how the keypad we peeled off and you could actually just yank off it's okay if it has some glue residue, but peel off. Before we yank out the keypad, we should actually turn it around. And you see each corner has screws. Get a plus head screwdriver and take out all the screws. And this is a flat head. Take out all the screws and then we'll disconnect the cable from the back. You can notice how I already removed a lot of the screws and just removing the last two. Now you have all the screws taken out. You can able to actually open it up. So I recommend placing it down somewhere. Yours might have a battery. Yours might not have a battery. That's not the important part. You will notice there's a tan cable here. This is the cable we're going to be pulling out. So this is where the battery will be, the board. Here's your tan cable. So you'll grab from the black part and slowly start pulling out the tan cable you'll notice all the pins here if you are testing for a bad keypad you would just put your flathead screwdriver on the bottom two pins here and see if it turns on i wouldn't know mine turns on but we're replacing the keypad now you see the cable comes out so now you'll peel off from the other side you'll notice how my keypad's here I can slowly start peeling off. And this will actually work normally. If you disconnect it, it won't turn it on. But you can see how I'm slowly pulling out of this indentation here. I'm pulling the cable out from the hole. This is my old keypad, so I'm gonna take my new one and put it on. See a closer look. This is where the keypad will go, and this is where the tan cable will go into. So take your new OP900 keypad and remove the thin film in the back. I have removed the tape from the keypad. Make sure there's no left over on this side it's all clear turn it over and you'll take your black end and place it within the hole to the right of the green board close up of the keypad i'm trying to line it up to the corner making sure the cable is all the way in and it's flat start placing it down See, I'm all the way down. Next, we're gonna connect the cable. Notice my tan cable came on the other side. So you'll notice the pinouts. You'll try to line them up and put the connector on here. Okay, should be all the way in. Make sure not to move left and right to break the pins. Make sure it doesn't break anything. Now we'll test it out see if it works. So I turned it over. Let's see before we close it up if it turns on. Okay. You'll see how it lights up now. So my keypad now works. And all my buttons should work. Okay. So now I'll turn it over. And place all the screws back. Which screws go where is not an important part. Just make sure you put all the screws back. And that should be it, and that should help you out placing your keypad. Final close-up of all the screws in.